Hello everyone, it's Marion Wallace with Restoring Ghettos Forgotten and I am uh, just jumping online a little bit to bring up an important topic to have a conversational piece about. We are in a state of emergency with our youth and their body images. We are at, we are in a state of emergency with our youth and their body images. And let me tell you what I mean. Uh, this is going to be a short video because I'm in transit somewhere, so I'm kind of sitting outside. Uh, but I didn't want this to escape um, putting it out there. Uh, but on yesterday, I was at the gym and I was getting dressed and there was another young lady. She was in her 20s, very attractive young lady. And um, I don't know how the conversation came about, uh, but she was telling me that she felt like her breasts were too large and that she was going to go and do... Uh, the breast reduction and I'm like okay because I know because of medical reasons you know some women do have um, extra large breasts and, and it becomes an issue medically because it's you know they get a lot of back back pain and arthritis and it, it affects the bones in the in, in the spine and the back and the neck and so I get that part so I was on board with that if it was medically induced like something that you have to do um, but then she went on to say that she's going to go ahead and do her whole body. And I'm like, you're in your 20s. This is where you're at your most perfect time. You know, like your body is the tightest. It's the strongest. It's, you know, it, it has more uh, collagen in your body. So it's like you don't necessarily have to get your whole body done. Um, so, but it wasn't just because of the enlarged breasts. Because what I'm seeing, it's a trend that's going on. And you guys tell me if I'm wrong, chime in on this video because I'm going to post it on my YouTube channel. But chime in on this video and tell me if I'm just out here in this vortex by myself and you guys aren't seeing this happen. But if I'm scrolling on my social, I, first of all, I don't do a lot of Instagram scrolling because it's a lot of stuff on there I don't wish to put inside my psyche. I guard my gates a lot, you know, mo a lot of times, especially on Instagram. So if I have something that I need to post for my business or for personal, I post it and I get out of there. I don't do a lot of scrolling. I don't do a lot of following or anything like that. That's just how I choose to keep myself in a positive light. And so, but if I'm engaging social media just for a few minutes, I notice that there's this Instagram, no, there's this place called Fashion Nova. I'm sure you guys are all um and this is not a bash to them i'm just saying uh there's this place called fashion nova that sells like really cute clothing for you know young women and women in general and so but i'm noticing that when i look at the pictures i say oh that's cute but then i'm looking at the pictures and i see like different girls but they all have the same body type and i'm like oh my gosh you know it's like can we have something you know can we have more girls that's more natural or more original because girls that's watching these ads they need to see people that look like them now i see that they're starting to do even with victoria's secret and a lot of the other bigger brands they're starting to um, put full figure models and i absolutely love that because you know it's showing a big range of the different shades sizes and colors and that we're all beautiful um and so we all have something to add to the state of beauty and i think natural beauty is the most you know to me it's more beautiful than anything that's artificially made and so I, I love that they have that but that's like sprinkled here and there it's not like an abundance of it what you see the most is these um young girls and they're young you can tell by their faces that they're young but they're all going to get the bbls the uh brazilian butt lifts and so what that procedure does does is it takes the fat from the waist and it puts it in the hips and the behind i believe and so everybody looks like this everybody and so that's when you begin to know that everybody's not built the same because we're all like we're in this big melting pot and we're from different races creeds colors and ethnicities and like we we co-mingle our race and our bloodline so everybody's not built like that and so for me to see all the advertisement of this falsehood because it's false really when you have to go somewhere to get made a certain way and then you want to take credit for it no i'm going to applaud the the young woman or the woman that's taking the the you know the long way the route that she's she's 
disciplined in herself. She's working out. She's eating right. She's drinking a lot of water. She's watching what she put in her temple. The, those are the people. I don't care how they look. I'm like, oh, I'm applauding them because I know that's the hard way. That's not the easy way. And so those are the people that I want to follow. And I'm, if, if I am going to emulate somebody, it's going to be natural women. Nat because we all are beautiful and we need to get back to that. And I said all that because this young lady, apparently when she's scrolling social media, she's seeing these images that doesn't fit her image. And it's changing how she feels about herself. And she goes on to tell me, uh, this young lady that was at the gym, uh, she goes on to tell me that she's she's depressed. She doesn't feel good about herself. She doesn't like how men comment on her body, how she looks, and all of this, uh, all of these things. And so she feels as though if she changes her image, that's going to make her feel better about herself. And I'm not saying that it doesn't, but I think we miss the importance of our beauty. It comes from uh, from within out outward, um, because once that you know, once you're beautiful on the inside, that permeates and it's natural and it's it just comes out and that's what attracts the right people to you because if you're trying to attract a male that only wants a woman with the perfect body perfect face perfect everything he's not concerned about how she thinks how intelligent she is what her moral compass is he's just looking for somebody to sleep with so I, I wouldn't want to be in that category to where I'm trying to appease to the men that just want to bang I mean I'm sorry I'm a, I'm a straight shooter and so but that's where our youth are that's why i say we're in a state of emergency and so uh in that aspect and so then we have to ask ourselves as parents where have we you know failed our children um and, and our young adults that are growing up and going on and moving out out of the house it's like they had this image that they think they have to look like in order to be accepted by their communities or by the people that they may want to attract to them and what i'm saying is that you have to be really careful of the attention that you're you're you want you're wanting to get because first of all with all the pictures that i see on social media and i even see women my age and older that post those type of pictures too and so i'm not putting us out of it because you know we fail too um, but what I'm saying is if that's the only energy you're getting back, it's like the provocative pictures and then you've had your whole body done and then, and, and it's just like, all of that is just so fake and phony to me. And so you're, you're looking for this attention that's not going to be real and authentic and it's not going to build you. It just wants to come into your life and take away from you. And so that's where we have to be careful about allowing our youth to feel that way i think the worst thing we could have done was and i know social media altogether like twitter facebook instagram TikTok, whatever those um all those social media channels i know that they can do some good because i see a lot of good going on i see a lot of encouragement i see a lot of positivity and I see, you know, so much creativity and so much talent out there. So it's it's not necessarily a bad thing, but I think we we step into it and we make it bad. And so my challenge to people all over that's on social media, before you post something, ask yourself, is this going to build somebody up or is it going to tear them down? If it's going to hurt somebody or tear them down, then don't post it. Don't post it because we should be in the business or we should be as a community, we should be building each other and not tearing each other down. So this is just, um, it's like a warning even. It's warning to the uh, parents, it's warning to uh, our adult youth uh, that you know you are beautiful just as God created you just as you you may not have you may not ever have a 24 inch waist but you you're still beautiful and if there's something about your body that you don't like you honestly don't like with hard work and dedication you can alter or you can uh, make better like certain parts of yourself that you don't like uh, for, for instance, women that feel like they don't have a, a big ghetto booty. Well, not all of us are going to have a big ghetto booty because we're in this melting pot and we have different races and creeds and colors. And and so I, we're not 100 percent 
African or we're not 100% whatever Latino or whatever the case may be. So we're kind of mixed. So not everybody's going to have that body, but embrace the body that you do have. If you have features that stand out like nice legs or you have a nice rack or whatever the case may be, if there's an area in your body that you don't like, then tweak it, you know, work out, work certain exercises that, that's going to help build your glutes or your abs or uh, your breasts. Because for some women, they feel like after they've had a kid, even women that don't have children, I've heard the complaint, well, you know, my breasts are sagging. Well, there's chest presses that you can do. There's push-ups. There's weight training that you can do to tone your upper body and to have it stand up and sit up like you just had a um a boob job and they're, they're natural um, but it takes diet it takes consistency it takes working out and it takes a lot of self-love to know that you're beautiful just as you are and so i just saw this post on social media and i was like yes i need to order those shirts and i need to order them in abundance and that shirt is just a it's just a, a regular shirt that says i am enough and my challenge to young women all over, whoever decides to click on this video to understand that you are enough just as you are. And if there's something you don't like about yourself, you can change it. You can alter it by, and I'm talking about body wise. Like if you feel like you're a little chunkier than you would like, okay, well get in the gym, work out, drink more water change your diet and i guarantee you just with you dropping those pounds you're gonna be like oh man i didn't know i could look this good we just have to find more natural positive ways to help you know develop that self-love and that self-care and that self-worth that's gonna just permeate from the inside out i want us to you know i want our youth and i even want us you know older women as well and I'm, i don't mean older like old old but we're we're older than the the young you know most of us are older than the young 20 year olds well we need to understand that too about ourselves because they really are watching us and so again we are in a state of emergency pertaining to our young adults and even young little girls that that watch the movies and the tv shows and social media and i hope you know anybody under 10 should not be on social media i don't think that's a good look I, I don't think because they're not developed enough mentally and socially and emotionally and all these other areas to be able to discern because many of us can see something and we, we can tell automatically it's not like we're gonna cast that person down but we know internally they're going through something inside of themselves that they feel like they have to look like the kim kardashian or all of these star women that has had their whole body made up made over uh kim kardashian's sister i can't remember her name but um she looks like a whole completely different person and i'm thinking and i'm asking myself does she even know who she is like you've lost everything about who god made you to be so do you even know who you are now so that's the question we need to ask ourselves while we're looking at all, all of this fake stuff. When you see somebody that's done all of that, don't say, I want to look like that. Say, I'm going to try my best to at least mimic it a little bit naturally. And then I'm going to be proud because I did it naturally. So why don't we try to do that? And why don't we try to love ourselves just for who God made us? That's more important than anything. We don't have to be in a state of emergency when it pertains to body image. I, I get so sick of hearing 20 year olds telling me they're getting their whole bodies done and they could die. I mean, let's think about it. Girls have died. Women do get infections and they have to have all that gook taken out of their butt from butt shots and surgeries that, that have gone bad. It's not worth it. It really isn't worth it. But what it's gonna take us to be, we have to stop being lazy. We have to get out there and put our health first. Because I guarantee you, if we stop eating some of the foods that we eat, we stop drinking some of the, the, the stuff that we drink, we can get down to our um, natural weight that's gonna enhance our beauty because we won't have all this extra fat hanging around us. And I'm just being real right now. I'm not a person that's bashing people that are overweight, but I'm saying that if it's bothering you now, you can do something naturally to change that. And change begins within whether, I don't care what nobody says, all of these beautifully robotic looking women, because they all look the same now, 
um, may, you know, they've had all these surgeries. They still have something in, within them that's missing. And they're still going to, if they're depressed, they're still going to be depressed. It's never going to be enough because we have to deal with our inner self before we can really feel beautiful on the outside. So let's deal with that, okay? Uh, I wanted to take time out to make this video because it's important, it's affecting us, it's affecting our children, it's affecting the young adults around us. And I don't believe that God put us in this world to all be the same, to all look the same, to have the world tell you what, you know, the the image of beauty really is it's a falsehood you have to know yourself you have to know god and god didn't make any mistakes on any of us so embrace who you are love you who you are if you don't like some few a few things about yourself change it naturally but ultimately accept how god made you and love yourself and embrace that and be who god is calling you to be i encourage you all um, to look within yourselves and if there's something that you need to work on within, work on that and not so much worry about the outside because I guarantee you, if the inside is ugly, the outside is ugly. I don't care how beautiful you think that is, how beautiful you think that person is, they're ugly on the outside because their energy is gonna come out and you're gonna be able to tell. There's no faking it. There's no faking it. I challenge everyone that's clicked on this video to celebrate yourself big small thin whatever celebrate you and if it's something about you that's unhealthy and you know that it's unhealthy you have the power to change it because god put the power in you you are not defenseless stop walking around here depressed and and acting like you have no power within you when god placed it in you make a change for the better choose to do that choose please choose to do that do that then they go take the easy road and you could possibly end up with a, a death sentence of having a surgery that's going to kill you or having a surgery that you have to you have years of recovery because they messed up or they botched your surgery that should be the last result if anybody feel like they have to do it that should be to where you've lost weight you you started to eat right you worked out you were consistent because consistency is key and then, and you feel like, well, I'm still in a lot of pain. I need to, you know, that's the last resort. It shouldn't be the first thing you think about because you see your belly's hanging over your panties and you know, you've been eating like a piglet. I'm gonna say piglet because I'm trying to be kind. You've been eating everything you know you ain't supposed to be eating. You've been drinking everything you supposed to be, you know, you ain't supposed to be drinking. And then you have this waistline and you look at your kid and say, you ruined my stomach. No, you ruined your stomach. Yeah, they stretched our stomachs out. But we have the ability to bring our pot bodies back, including our personal bodies down there. And y'all know what I'm talking about. We have the, God put the power in the woman to bring all of that back. But we got to work hard to get there. So it's possible to do it. Um, I appreciate you guys clicking on this video. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel for more positive affirmations, empowerment. Because I believe we can be better than what the world is telling us we are. I love you guys. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.